Hey guys, welcome back to the Altitude LED YouTube channel. In this video, I wanna give you a quick rundown of the LED system that we installed here at Shiloh Seventh Day Adventist Church in Chicago, Illinois. My name is Jake Oslin with Altitude LED. If you're new to the channel, we're all about educating and empowering you with the knowledge you need to take the visuals in your worship service to the next level. So don't forget to subscribe and check out the links down below if you would like to get started on an LED project for your church. So let's dive into the rundown of the LED system they have here at Shiloh. On the stage, they have a 30 foot wide by 10 foot tall LED wall that consists of the Apex panels. And these panels have a 2.97 pixel pitch. So when you are in the front row of that congregation, you can't see the pixels. It looks beautiful and the resolution is super high. The large LED wall at the back of the stage functions as a large set piece, so they can instantly change stage design for worship or the pastor's sermons, and it just really streamlines that whole process and it looks fantastic. The side screens above the large center screen, those are eight by 13 altitude LED panels, and they're also the same apex panels that are being used for that in both the large center screen and the top side screens are just wall mounted. What's also cool about wall mount LED setups is that they kind of blend right into whatever wall you're putting them on, especially when that wall is a darker color. Here they're using some black wood slatted acoustic absorption panels all around the back of the stage. So when they actually turn off the altitude LED wall, it like pretty much goes to black and you can barely tell there's an LED wall there at all. It just kind of blends in with the wall along the back of the stage. So that's something to keep in mind when you're doing LED wall installs is just the aesthetics, how it's gonna tie into the overall aesthetic of the room. What are they gonna look like when they're off and how could you blend it in? Finally, they have a confidence monitor that is mounted on the wall. It's actually the wall that where the balcony protrudes over front of house. They wall mounted some more apex panels there. Uh, I believe the dimensions is, is five by eight for that panel setup and it's a fantastic confidence monitor for the pastors as well as the worship band members to see the lyrics throughout the worship service and they, they can see countdowns and timers and they can know what's coming next. They needed to go with an LED wall for their confidence monitor because it's a pretty far distance from where the front of house is to the stage and they wanted to be able to you know, display lyrics and text and countdown timers large enough so that people could confidently read them from the stage. So this was a really great fit for an altitude LED wall. Finally, let's talk about the processor and video setup here at the church. The processors they're using are the Novastar processors that are very common in a lot of our installs here at Altitude LED. They have one processor for the center screen and then they have a separate processor for the side screens. And then they added another smaller processor for that confidence monitor at the back of the room. So they're actually running a total of three processors and remember the processor will take a video feed like uh, whatever you want to display for your side screens or your center screen or your confidence screen it can take that video feed it's going to then distribute the video to the cat5 data cables that run to the led walls to make sure that all the right imagery is mapped to the proper areas of the panels uh, to produce a stunning image. So let's talk about their video routing setup. Uh, currently, this is one way you can do it. For the large center screen, they're just outputting an HDMI signal from the Proclaim computer that runs the presentation software. Uh, they run an HDMI to one processor for the center screen, and they run another HDMI output uh, to the little processor for their confidence monitor. But for the side screens, where they often will have iMag for people preaching on stage or special things like baptisms that are happening. They're actually pulling an ME, a mix effect from the ATEM constellation so they can switch between displaying um, video from Proclaim or a camera angle, right? And they can have that iMag effect 
on those side screens. So that wraps up the walkthrough of the Altitude LED system that we installed here at Shiloh Seventh-day Adventist Church. Uh, if you would like a similar system, don't hesitate to reach out and we can get started on your LED project today. Just go to altitudeled.com. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you found this helpful and we'll see you next time.